Staying with geopolitical news now. This is Anthony Gucciardi out of Story Leak. Russia amasses full combat readiness strategic bombers. Straight out of Russian news, Vladimir Putin has called for the nation's strategic bombers to enter a state of full combat readiness following the snap drills that were in initiated after Israel bombed Russian-made Syri Russian missiles within Syria. So as Gucciardi reported on a Sunday, Russia's large-scale amassing of over 160,000 troops, naval ships, fighter planes, strategic bombers has been virtually ignored by the mainstream media, with only Russian-based news services really reporting on the event. And these are the largest Russian war games since the Cold War. You'd think that would be a bigger story, but it's receiving relatively little attention. And it, of course, follows the uh, recent revelation that Israel once again attacked Syria. Again, imagine if Syrian warplanes were bombing Israel once a month. What do you think the reaction would be? Of course, it was recently announced that that happened again in Syria when Israel bombarded weapon supplies in Latakia, weapons that had been provided by the Russians. And according to a report out of Ynet News today, the Israelis only gave the green light for the attack when they were assured that no Russians were on site. So they're being very careful not to initiate tension, more tension with the Russians. And you've got several incidents over the past few months where fighter jets, both Turkish and Israeli, have mysteriously fallen out of the sky due to technical malfunctions when people in Syria have in fact contradicted that narrative and said that those F-16s could in fact have been shot down. Israel's not going to admit to that because it's a slap in the face for them, but the rumours that those fighter jets were shot down continue to circulate. And the article continues, the revelation that Israel was behind the strike on the Russian-made missiles in Syria may be behind the reason for the combat drill, assuming the Russians found out before the general public. So firstly, of course, we had the Snowden wild goose chase and now the Zimmerman controversy. While all that's been at the forefront of the news agenda, the continued build-up to war continues to simmer. In Britain, the military has basically told David Cameron that arming these radical jihadist rebels in Syria is not going to happen. So they're having to backtrack on that. And the case for arming them in terms of the court of public opinion has completely collapsed in light of these numerous atrocities that have been documented uh, and have indeed intensified over the past year. So we've got that. We've got the Syrian army that continues to score key victories in its battle to retake these rebel areas across the country. So in conclusion, the window appears to be closing. Remember the Wall Street Journal reported back in June that the rebel push backed by US weapons is set to begin in early August. So if we're still talking about this situation, if it remains the same in two months time, then it appears that that window for intervention in Syria will be firmly shut. But now we've got Russia staging the biggest war games since the Cold War. And it's basically hardly anybody is talking about it, but we're talking about it here on InfoWars Nightly News. Quote of the day now. Racism is taught in our society. It is not automatic. It is learned behavior towards persons with dissimilar physical characteristics. So again, that speaks to the point that a lot of this race baiting, a lot of this hatred is contrived. You know, people who share the same culture shouldn't be at each other's throats over physical characteristics when our main enemy remains those in power who will abuse it and who will inflict that abuse against all of us, no matter what our color or creed. Just a show note now, you're watching PrisonPlanet.tv tomorrow, I would urge you to do so because we're going to premiere State of Mind, the exciting new mind control documentary. And we're going to intersperse the screening of this new film with a roundtable discussion featuring some of the people behind that film, some of the InfoWars crew. So that's going to be the premiere of State of Mind exclusively at PrisonPlanet.tv tomorrow on InfoWars Nightly News. So be sure to subscribe at PrisonPlanet.tv to get first access to that. 
We're going to go to break now, but when we come back, David Knight talks to former congressional candidate David Seaman about the inherent structural corruption in the U.S. electoral system and ways we can fix it. So we're going to go to a break, and that interview is coming up. Stay tuned. This is Antonio Beeler of the Peaceful Streets Project. I'm here to invite you to a concert featuring Jordan Page here in Austin, Texas, this Thursday, July 18th. This concert will help fund the Peaceful Streets Project annual Police Accountability Summit, which will be the culmination of a crazy year and a half. We started with my New Year's arrest for trying to take pictures of and stop two thug cops from assaulting a woman who had committed no crime. I subsequently joined with other activists here in Austin to launch a Peaceful Streets Project to bring about a cultural shift so that people would stand up for their rights while staying together to bring accountability to criminal cops. Since then, the Peaceful Streets Project has given victims of police abuse a platform to share their stories. We've hosted dozens of Know Your Rights trains, organized over 100 cop watches, and hosted a successful police accountability summit where we gave out 100 cameras to people in need so they could film the police. We were also named the Grassroots Movement of the Year by the Austin Chronicle, and now we're going national. We currently have a dozen chapters nationwide in cities such as Dallas, Houston, New York, Manchester, New Hampshire, and Sadusky, Ohio. This Thursday, July 18th, Liberty Rocker Jordan Page will be coming to Austin, Texas to perform at a private benefit concert to help raise funds for a second annual Police Accountability Summit that will be held on August 17th. The money we raise is necessary to offset the cost of the venue, as well as the costs associated with our featured guests, which include Radley Balco, author of Rise of the Warrior Cop, Bobby Seale, co-founder of the Black Panthers, Carlos Miller, creator of PhotographyIsNotACrime.com, Pete Ayer of CopLock.org, and musicians B. Dolan and Tatiana Moroz. There are three ways you can help us make this benefit concert and summit a success. First, please share this video with friends via email, Facebook, and Twitter. Second, come to the benefit concert this Thursday in Austin. Go to PeacefulStreets.com slash Jordan Page to prepay. And third, come to and or donate to the second annual Police Accountability Summit. Go to PeacefulStreets.com slash donate for more information. Together, we can bring down the police state. Are we choosing our own paths, our own destiny, or has it been pre-selected for us? C.S. Lewis said, when training beats education, civilization dies. We need to always be cognizant of, as a free society, that information can be used as a weapon. Barrier to discovery is not ignorance. It's the illusion of knowledge. We are seen as nothing but biological androids. To gain control of education in America, not for a philanthropic purpose, but to change the thinking of the American people. From the time we're very young, we're taught to, you know, worship authority basically because that's our key to survival as young children. Discover the history, the present, and the future of mind control. From compulsory state education to the Hollywood media brainwashing machine, we are kept in perpetual bondage to the ideas that shape our actions. And the CIA scientists could actually film people who had been surreptitiously dosed with LSD. There's a brain entrainment process that takes place. That gives the government free reign to create whatever story or narrative it wants to create. Whatever the public face of something is, whatever they're talking about publicly, there's something else over here they're probably not looking at. How to engineer the opinion of the American people so that they would fully endorse, not only endorse, but demand a war. When you watch mainline establishment television, you are putting yourself in front of the barrel of a gun. Discover the history, the present, and the future of mind control, psychological warfare, brainwashing. Are we controlled and manipulated? You bet. That's mind control par excellence. Find out how deep the rabbit hole really goes with this new groundbreaking documentary film, State of Mind. Available exclusively at InfoWars.com. Because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is, is an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states. And the 
conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, Infowars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at Infowars.com. Infowars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, Infowars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence that know this information is true but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the New World Order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team. Well, the question is always before us is, how do we affect change? We may understand what's wrong.